Imagine if the planet was an open world game, divided into many smaller tiles. And the only way to unlock new areas was to actually go there. That was the initial idea for this project and this is the result. I started with Germany to keep it simple for now. Let's just say I haven't unlocked the other countries yet. I discover new tiles by traveling to them in real life. This gives me a reason to visit places I wouldn't visit otherwise and to track my progress. But even creating this map was quite a challenge. First I had to decide what shape the tiles will have. The available options are triangles, squares, pentagons and hexagons, as they can be placed next to each other. I went for hexagons because hexagons are circles with six edges and I think they look the best. For the first test I printed some blank hexagonal shapes and placed them next to each other. But when doing that I have this seam here that I don't like so I'm aiming for a 2mm gap between the tiles. This should highlight the tile shape and looks more stylish. After measuring the place I want to hang the finished piece I decided to make the whole thing 75cm large. Big enough to see the details and to fit it on this wall properly. I spend a lot of time finding the perfect tile size. If the tiles are too big, there are less locations I have to travel, making it too easy. If the tiles are too small, it might be impossible to unlock the whole map. So I went with a tile size of 100mm. I'm estimating about 50 different tiles, so 50 unique locations to travel to. Might not sound like a lot, but depending on the rules that I haven't set yet, it will still be an achievement. Do I unlock a tile by just traveling through it? In that case, 50 sounds too easy. Do I unlock a tile by staying at least one night here? Yeah, I think that sounds better. Next step is to create the 3D model so I can print it. I'm using Blender and the premium version of Trailprint 3D to create this. If you are new to my channel, Trailprint 3D is a Blender add-on I made that allows you to turn your track trips into 3D printable maps with just a few clicks. In this case I'm not using it to print the trail but to create all the tiles. If you have some experience in Blender, you know what has to be done first. Delete the default cube because no one needs that annoying piece of shit. Now I somehow need to get a map of Germany into Blender. For that I download a GeoJSON file from simplemaps.com that contains all the boundary data. Then I wrote a skip to turn the data into a Blender object. Based on the boundary I can place the tiles until the whole thing is filled. Now it's time to generate the terrain data based on the tiles position. I select a few, hit this magic button and now I have the terrain data including water and forests on my tiles. Looks good so far, so I do the same thing for the other tiles. As I want to highlight the country borders, I'm making everything on the outside of the border flat and black. Let's take a moment to think about how to connect the tiles with each other when assembling. I need a non-permanent solution so I can switch out the uncovered tiles after visiting them. And I need to be able to keep them at a fixed distance. And while I'm acting like I don't have a solution yet, I added a feature to Trailprint 3D that does exactly this a while ago. What a lucky coincidence. So yeah, I'm using that one of course. I click the tiles, hit this button and there we have it. Dovetail cutouts. Now I can use these clips I designed to connect them. They fit in perfectly and are kinda tight. The dovetails are slightly V-shaped to keep the connectors in. The connectors have these little cutouts here, so the noses can be bent slightly when you push them in. I have used them in the past for smaller maps, but not for one as big as this one. So at this point I have no idea if they are strong enough to hold the whole map. But the only way to find it out is to try it. But there is another problem with the assembly. Imagine you have 50 random tiles in front of you and you want to put them together. There is no way to easily identify them. If only there was an easy way to add text at the bottom of all tiles. And guess what, I added that feature to Trailprint 3D as well. I select them all, hit that button and that's it. Now it's way easier to identify the parts and assemble them. Now it's printing time. This is my old Anycubic Cobra 2 Pro. But that one only supports single color printing. I need to be able to print at least 4 colors so it's time for an upgrade. And Anycubic decided to support my work by sponsoring me a Cobra S1 combo. This printer has everything I need. 4 colors with the Ace Pro, automatic bed leveling, filament drying, 250mm build plate, an integrated camera, fully enclosed and much more. That sounds great on paper, but what's more important, does it work? Well let's see. Loading the filament is easy. 
Just place the roll in and push the start of the spool into the hole. If you are using any cubic filament, it's getting automatically recognized. If you are using other filament, you can easily assign the material and the color on the display or on the slicer. I only had issues when using matte PLA. But I guess that's because of the rough surface and it kind of feels more flexible which caused a few troubles, so I recommend avoiding that one. I'm using the Anycubic slicer which is similar to other common slicers. This allows me to remote control the printer and start prints from everywhere. Like from my PC, so I don't have to turn around every time I want to start a print. And to see the progress of the print I can just check the webcam. I already prepared the 3D files and for the first print and to see how the filaments are matching I'm printing just one tile. In terms of speed it's as fast as the current generation printers with a recommended speed of 300 mm per second. A few hours later we have this, the first tile. It looks perfect and the tolerances are spot on. Later I tried printing tiles with support material and as you can see the support breaks off easily as well. Good looking parts with accurate dimensions, easy to use, reliable and a built in filament dryer for a really affordable price. This printer is for everyone and if you want to get one by yourself, check out the link in the description to get a discount on your purchase. With everything printed, I'm assembling the full map so I get an idea of how it looks. For that I prepared this picture that shows the placement of the tiles. I'm really happy with the result. Not only it looks really cool, but it also holds together without any glue. Now to the real problem. How do I hang it on the wall? Ideally I'd just use double sided tape. But last time I taped these parts to the wall, they fell down after a few weeks. I hate drilling holes to the wall, but I guess that's the best option. And this is the plan. Print some more blank ties that will be placed around the map and glued together so it has more stability. This will act as a reinforced frame. Two of those tiles are slightly thicker with cutouts on the backside. Then drill two holes into the wall. Put in two dowels, two screws and then hang the map. To switch out a tile I can take it down, change it and then hang it back on. Taking it down seems to be necessary as the connection system works too good. It was designed with the purpose of keeping parts together, so they are kinda hard to remove. I could have printed the parts with bigger tolerances, but now it's too late. I used some of the blanks for the frame. And now I'll try to glue them together without getting super glue on my fingers. This is how the frame looks assembled. After thinking about it I changed my mind and decided I will hang the map on this wall instead of this one. Mainly because I'm lazy and don't want to remove my whole PC setup to drill two holes. To catch most of the dust I'm placing my vacuum cleaner below it in the most secure way possible with the printer running next to it. Now put in the dowels and screws and test if I drill the holes in the correct distance. To see how the whole thing will look on the wall, I'm connecting the map with the frame. This is how it will look once I've discovered the whole country. I decided to go for the following rules. Traveling through a tile doesn't count. And I uncover a tile if I visit a specific location in that tile together with my girlfriend. Trips without her don't count. We have been in a few locations already, so this is what we are starting with. But how do I know what city is in what tile? 
I know that Berlin is somewhere here, but not exactly where. For that I'm using Trailprint 3D once again. I can enter coordinates or city names. For example Berlin and it creates a pin on that location. So now I can see what tile is unlocked when visiting that location. Now I finally have a reason to visit all the different locations in Germany. Even places like Saarland or whatever the hell is up here. I will upload these files to make a world for free and a tutorial on how to create a map like this for your own country to my Patreon soon. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.